everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of Inside the Charts, brought to you by Vantage and myself, Adam, from Trade with Precision. So as you may or may not recall, I spoke recently about how the dollar index is stuck within a range. It was approaching the bottom of the range, and the question at that time was, would it break outside of the range, or would it find support and work its way back into the range? And here we can see, looking at it from a monthly time frame, we can see that very strong bullish candle, nice strong swing low, and it appears currently it has pushed itself back into the range. Now, when we look at it from a daily perspective, you can see that uh, the bearish uh, lower lows and the bullish high lows on the indicator. This was our bullish divergence, and I was saying to you that it was really only significant if we broke these highs, which means that this downtrend is now broken. That has indeed happened. Price has been on a very long extended run. We produced quite a strong bearish candle closing near the lows, and what I'm expecting to see this week is a break of the low of that follow-through and to see price starting to retrace back down towards the moving averages. So now the big question really is going to be is where is that retracement going to be down to if I include a Fibonacci retracement from the low to the high and this is indeed our swing high. I could expect at least a shallow retracement down towards the 382. This would be a 38.2% retracement down towards the 50 Fib, which is very interesting because it aligns then with a the previous level of resistance. So in other words, price would be coming back to test resistance as support. So I quite like that target. I think it's a very feasible target, but certainly price is fair fairly able to attempt to do that. I think beyond that might be a little bit of a stretch. Next up, let's have a look at Euro dollar. So looking here at Euro dollar, again, we've had this very long sustained move, what appears to be the beginnings of a swing low. Should we get a shallow retracement up towards 1.091? and then a continuation, yes, but we could also go as far back as 1.1. Is it possible that the market could continue straight down from here? This would be unusual, it's not impossible. The only explanation for that, if that does indeed happen, would be my thinking that we are two weeks out from the US election and we could see that dollar strengthening in a slightly unreasonable or irrational fashion because we're so close to a major event. I think that is the next major event that the markets are really focusing towards. But should the market behave in a more rational fashion between now and then, I would expect a retracement at least back up into these moving averages. So my expectation this week is strengthening of that euro against the US dollar. Similarly, if we have a look at cable, the pound against the US dollar, you can see it's also testing support where it is right now. And then if we go have a look at a few of the others to compare, for example, here we can see that it's also testing a level of support and again, giving it that potential for a move to the upside. Let's compare this to dollar CAD. And here we can see dollar CAD testing the upper limits of this higher time frame range. So yes, I wouldn't be surprised if we got a little bit of a rejection there. Now with dollar yen, we can see again, we had something very similar. We had these lower lows. We had this bullish divergence on the indicator. We've also had a break above these previous highs over here. And so this is doing a very similar type of move as the dom as we've seen with the dollar index. And we can see it's slowing down a little bit. So again, here, I would expect us to do a minor retracement in the coming days, looking to find some support on the moving averages. And then I'll be looking to see at that point, does it then resume um, a move to the upside? If we have a look at this from a monthly perspective, we can see here that we've got this beautiful swing low with a nice bullish candle in the moving averages and of course it's sitting off support. So the implication here is that certainly there is some momentum to the upside. Now, if we move on and have a look at gold, one of the things that I wanted to say is that it is, and this is my subjective opinion, that gold is in a bubble. The last time I saw such a significant move without any real taking a break was in 2011. And post that bubble bursting, which it was at the time, uh, price went down from 2011 all the way through to 2019 before it resumed its longer term uptrend. We've also had a strong consolidation period uh, recently. So what I'm expecting and what I'm looking for at the moment is, yes, in principle, this is a strong trend. I do believe it's in a bubble. Um, the problem with bubbles is that they can continue indefinitely, but we are definitely overextended to the upside. We've got a little bit parabolic as well on the weekly timeframes. And when I say parabolic, I just mean that the price, the angle of price is starting to curve upwards. In isolation, this looks amazing. It doesn't look that overextended. It's really the monthly that shows that this behavior has never happened before in the price, at least certainly not on the charts, and therefore it is bubble territory. That's why I would say it's bubble territory. So it makes me a little bit more concerned. In terms of that, from a daily perspective, uh, I still think that the uh, direction in which the market is going is up, but it makes me a little bit more uh, conservative with regards to my risk. So any pullbacks should represent buying opportunities, but we are still in bubble territory, which means that at some point in the medium 
term future, my expectation is that gold will have a relatively strong correction, but that could be a month away. So for now, I'm cautiously bullish and just managing my risk appropriately. Now, very quickly, having a look at crude oil futures here, they continue to exhibit the bearish buildup patterns to me. We've got a series of lower highs coming into that support level around the $68.80 mark, um, or at least let's call it the $68 mark. And my expectation is that pressure is very much to the downside. I can see the MACD is also trending lower. So I do expect at some point, potentially this coming week, for crude oil to break down and head lower. Very quickly looking at the uh, indices, the global indices continue to look very nice and bullish. So for now, my expectation is they will continue to climb this week. Uh, certainly not necessarily aggressively, but the momentum is definitely much more bullish than it is bearish. We can see here with the NASDAQ, for example, we've had a nice little pullback into a previous level uh, of resistance and found support and continuing to sort of push our way up. I want to have a quick look at the Nikkei. And the Nikkei itself, not necessarily trending as strong, but certainly also starting to slip to the or continuing I beg your pardon to just push its way to the upside and last but not least I spoke about Alibaba briefly last time where I saw we had a big surge to the upside we started this correction to the downside and I'm looking for a potential bullish candle that means a green candle in the coming week in this area which to me would represent uh, the idea that the buyers have returned back in to attempt to do another leg to the upside. So I'm looking for a nice green candle to form in this area. I'm going to leave you with that plenty to think about and uh, looking forward to seeing how the market uh, plays out this week, but keeping in mind that in two weeks time, we do have the US elections. Thank you.